So go back to where you, um, you know, you decided you're going to develop this. You took it to HBO. At the time, there was really nowhere else to go. I mean, I remember the day, you know, we, we pitched the show and they bought it. Um, we were walking in there with nothing. They bought a script, which seemed like, holy shit. And we walked out of that meeting at the HBO Towers like we own the fucking universe. Victory! That was pretty meaningless because it took about two years before they actually let us shoot it. And I probably wrote 25 different versions of the script. Your first script you sent through HBO just like, no, this is not happening. Yeah, I mean, I remember I was, uh, uh, Steve called me and, and said, uh, and we were like, we loved it. We felt like, you know, and I'm a very negative person. So usually I'm like, it sucks, it sucks. But I was like, this, I fucking love this. I can't wait to do this. And uh, he called me and he's like, yeah, they didn't like it. I'm like, what didn't they like? He's like, they didn't like anything. <laughs> <I'm> like, <laughs> it's interesting to look at that script it's so much darker and edgier and you know chris albrecht was the head of hbo who's the guy who put sopranos and sex in the city and the wire on and he really pushed pushed me to to make it fun i mean part of me looking at mark and his crew they were they were an edgier group they would you know they were a tough group of boston guys Chris wanted it more fun and, and more light, and he was right. So it took some time to kind of uh, remove my New Yorker Sopranos Jr. attitudes and go, you know what, this has got to be like a fun show. And even though these guys are going to be cool, yep. they're not the type of guys that are going to go punch people in the face and, you know, and like rob a house. Yo, chill out. Wow, man. what are you too mainstream now to fight your own fights, Marshall? Oh, 